What's up everybody? Pop Culture Philosophers, thanks for checking out the video. We had a movie night tonight. We always love movie night. And getting ready for Batman vs. Superman on the road, we watched one of the greatest animated films of all time, Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. Batman Mask of the Phantasm, what, 1993? Yes, I think this movie came out. Super cool. You know, Batman the Animated Series, uh, Bruce Timm, Alan Burnett, Paul Dini, the whole crew, they did this movie. It came out in movie theaters. Uh, you saw it in movie theaters, too. Delaney? We got the crew with us, the PCPers, here tonight. I want to know what you think about the movie on the rewatch. So we've all seen this movie before. So, John, what do you think about Mask of the Phantasm? I love it, man. It was good on the rewatch. It was good originally. Rewatch it, it's good... There's some parts that are hokey or whatever, but it's the best Batman animated film, and it actually is better than a lot of the Batman films. It actually is. It really is good. Speaking of better than a lot of the Batman films, Jonathan Strickland. Yes, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I had seen it when I was a kid, but it's been a while, and just just the the whole picture was it was beautiful. And, oh yeah. And when Joker comes in, it's just legit. And he's he's the Joker. He's just a nutball. And he's crazy, and you don't know what he's gonna do. And I just love that factor about him. Speaking of not knowing what he's going to do, Mike, the voice Matthews. What you think of the movie on the rewatch? Good. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we're getting. Right. Right. Jelani, what do you think about the movie on the rewatch? I love that it's a snapshot of what Batman is. Yes. It's his story. It's his origins. It's someone that uh, he falls in love. He actually deals with the loss of his parents. It's a big deal. Yeah. And it's a snapshot of what Batman is. And that's what I love about that film. And when I was a kid, I saw it in the theater. And it, it blew me away there. And I got a lot from the other movies since then. I mean, Kevin Conroy is Batman. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Did. Mark I Hamill is the Joker. Yeah. Like, you can't, you can't say that about anyone else. And that's oh, what absolutely. I love about that film. And it... it oh, man... It's gorgeous. And the Phantasm is badass. Yeah. yeah. The movie is really, really cool. Yeah. You know, it's actually got a fantastic script. And, like, I like how emotional Bruce gets a lot. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. I like how emotional Bruce gets in this movie. When he's like, Alfred, I love that scene. We were cracking up over it. <laughs> Do it! But, like, like awesome. when he's all like, you think you know me so well. He's like, well, I should. Because basically I wiped your ass when you were a kid. He's like, well, you're wrong! <laughs> I mean, we can't repeat that throughout the movie. It was just really good. No, but it focuses on Bruce Wayne more than just Batman. Yeah. And it's probably the one movie out of all of them to do that the most. You know, out of all the live action Batman films, out of all the actual, you know, just, you know, this is better this at is actually focusing better. in on Bruce. He deals with his parents. He actually falls in love, but it's actually an engaging and an intriguing love story and it's tragic. It's got that tragic love story in it. I really, really like it. And like you said, a little bit of the yeah. year one aspect, a little bit of how yeah. he started and how he got into it. But that, this movie is so great. An animated series encapsulates everything that's great about Batman in one package and that animated series is encapsulated in one package in this movie. It's absolutely fantastic. We love it. So, what does it mean to us? Jonathan Strickland, what do you think? What are some of the themes in this movie? I would, first of all, say that I would pick up a lot on vengeance versus justice. Oh, yeah. And the difference between the two. Because at the end, she's basically calling Batman out and saying, who are you to tell me you know, because he's all like, you know what vengeance is going to do? Well, he does know, and he learned a long time ago, that it's not vengeance that he's after, but it's justice. And there's also the whole return of Saturn thing, the Grim Reaper, you know, that uh, constricting element in your life that comes around every so often when you reap what you sow. And that's something that is involved in this movie and the theme. So what else, Jonathan, do you want to Yeah, I love that, man. I mean, when I got into comics, that was one of the first comics I ever read. Year one, then... Dark Knight Returns, all those. But, you know, I came up with my own quote, like my own Batman quote. It's, like, really good. People love Batman because he is self-actualized. It's through this intense focus and awareness of self that we find success. Huh. Like, I came up with that. You came up with that? Look at your radio or something. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. It's very interesting. Yeah. That was good. I like that, man. That was that's very that's what I think it means. For that's awesome, dude. Hold shoot, hammer time. What do you think about the themes in this movie? Um, I really, the biggest thing I picked up on was it talks about how he was going to run away with her and get married and give up because he was starting to become Batman. 
Yeah. At the time. Oh yes. He's gonna run away with her, and then it reverts, and then again it happens again. I think it was his destiny <laughs> to be Batman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. It, it was his calling. Yeah. And he couldn't shy away from that. No matter what yeah, you happened. got a little bit of the, that 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 tragic love story, the the love the love that can never happen because in order for us to be fully ourselves, we cannot be together. Does that make sense? Or more in Batman's case, I guess, than yeah. Hulk. But you know, what would life have been like for Batman? But I like that. You know, and it's it's probably the most engaging, like I said, love story in all of Batman. Yeah, it's heart wrenching. You feel for him. Yeah. Speaking of heart wrenching, and you feel for him, Mike Matthews. What do you think about the themes in this movie? I like the colors. All right, Mike likes the colors. Jelani, what do you think about some of the themes in this movie? It's about loss for me. Oh, yeah. Like, you lose, you lost your parents. You've lost everything that you're doing, and you're trying to gain at the same time. And that's what I love about this film. You actually get that snapshot, like I said before. It's a, it's a snippet of what you need to see to understand that this is a true Batman story. It's, it's, it's enriched, and the loss of everything. Like, he lost the love of his life, and the Joker's fantastic in this He's movie, by the amazing. way. Like, He's amazing. Like, he cracks us up so much. And Don't touch me. From the beginning! Me. From the beginning! He's engaging. Yes. And it always works out. So, yeah, he's fantastic. Oh, Frank Miller's Batman, so yes. he's getting angry behind us. Anyway, to sum up, we really love this movie, and we think that thematically it actually speaks a lot, probably more than most live-action Batman films. So... On behalf of everybody here at Pop Culture Philosophers, thanks for watching the video. Please comment, subscribe, and thumbs up the video. We really appreciate that. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. Uh, we even listen to those comments. Anyway, um, and remember, guys, if you really want to know what you can pull from a movie, you should watch the movie. <laughs> dig. Yeah. Dig. I don't get to dig things, so. Well, don't. Okay. No, you don't. <laughs> Well, you're wrong. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> That's-